Welcome to the Nell, I'm Meg Turney. And I'm Bruce Green. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. The government wants to know more about what some of you guys are doing on Reddit. Uh, if only it were just an April Fool's joke. Yeah. This news comes indirectly through Reddit's 2015 Transparency Report, which was just published yesterday. The Transparency Report is something they started just last year, letting Redditors know how many times user data is requested by law enforcement, subpoenas, search warrants, court orders, that kind of thing you might be worried about if you use Reddit. Yeah, in these reports, they also disclose how many users are affected by some of these orders, plus any legal disputes about copyright, such as takedown notices. Yes, it's a pretty standard legal fare, and 2015's report was not all that different from 2014's, except for one very important clause. Uh, in 2014's report, Reddit included what's known as a warrant canary in the text, letting users know it had not received a classified request from the U.S. government for any user data, stating, quote, as of January 29th, 2015, Reddit has never received a national security letter, an order under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or any other classified request for user information. If we ever receive such a request, we would seek to let the public know it existed." End quote. Yes. However, this important bit of text is missing from this year's transparency Ooh, that's really, that's report. really bad. Ooh, <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> which, uh, of course, indicates that Reddit has, in fact, now received a classified order of some sort from the U.S. government, and it's not allowed to talk about it. Yeah, and in actuality, the removal of this warrant canary is literally Reddit's only legal way of disclosing that, which is the point of them having the text in last year's report in the first place. Sneaky Reddit! Yeah, good for them, Sneaky good for them. Reddit. I appreciate that. So if you're wondering what the heck a warrant canary is and why you have never heard of it, that's because it's still shaky and kind of untested legal ground. Since nearly all national security letters come with a gag order, you're not allowed to say that you've received one when the government issues it. So since you're not allowed to talk about it, a warrant canary is one way to dodge it, confirming that you've received an NSL by omission. Uh, Apple did the same thing back in 2014 when it changed some of the language between its 2013 and 2014 transparency reports. Reddit users, who are eagle-eyed as always, except when it came to the whole Boston bombing thing, anyway, uh, they <laughs> spotted the removal of the text almost immediately, so the announcement thread is full of understandably panicky responses about government surveillance and just how much user data was ordered by the U.S. government. Yeah, founder Steve Huffman, posting as Spez, even contributed to the thread saying, quote, I've been advised not to say anything one way or the other, end quote. Which again, is another sneaky way of basically confirming all the speculation and really towing the legal line as far as the government is concerned. Shut your mouth, man! They're gonna get you! No, no, he's doing it. He's doing the right thing. He's oh, doing it, yeah. Making me nervous. <laughs> it's just, you get, never mind. If you think it's crazy that Reddit isn't even allowed to say whether or not it has a gag order placed on it, eh, the laws used to be even more strict. Yeah. A few years ago, you weren't even allowed to tell your attorney what? you'd received a national security letter. That's insane. Uh, that seems awfully convenient for the government. A lot of this commotion about NSLs started back with the Patriot Act in 2001, which significantly expanded their use and scope of power. Naturally, a statute that has that kind of power Power plus prevents people from even talking about it or challenging it is easily abused, which is exactly what the FBI did with them. Yeah, in multiple reports filed by the Department of Justice Inspector General since 2007, the FBI violated NSL rules more than 1,000 times between 2003 and 2006, and that was just an audit of 10% of its cases regarding NSLs. 10,000 confirmed really cases. Bad. Still so, really bad. Very crazy. <laughs> Which is why a judge ruled many of the NSL's non disclosure restrictions were unconstitutional back in 2013. Mm -hmm. But don't get too excited just yet. The government's appealing, so that ruling is still in flux. Yeah. You can't have the government governing the government. As far as other legal means to disclose the issuance of an NSL, service providers are only allowed to confirm them in ranges of 1,000. Uh, what does that mean? Meaning that if you're Comcast and you receive 600 NSLs from the FBI, you're allowed to state that you have received between zero and 999. <laughs> what? Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> uh, a number of companies are fighting for reform when it comes to government surveillance, however. Reddit, along with 85 other companies, have collectively denounced the government's tactics around privacy, demanding an end to NSA spying. So what does this mean for you, Reddit? browsing creepypasta subreddits. <laughs> well, we can accurately guess that from the removal of the Warrant Canary. Reddit has received between zero and 999 requests mm -hmm. for user information that also came with a gag order. And these orders could have involved just one user or all of you. Oh, fuck shit. That's really yeah. bad. It's still really bad. Uh, that's yeah. really all we know. It's highly unlikely that whatever was requested, and we use that term very loosely here, had anything to do with the majority of Redditors. Yeah, it's more likely that this had to do with the associates, posts, or interactions actions of a person of interest in some sort of court case. Or, you know, maybe uh, they're going after pesky video game news leakers. What? Like, the, like the no maybe? That ain't us. <laughs> I gotta leave. Uh, but again, we have no way of knowing because Reddit legally can't talk about it besides what it's already done. 
Thankfully, they're already pushing against their legal limits when it comes to being transparent with users, which we appreciate. Uh, we really do. Uh, as we said before, the warrant canary isn't even something that's been denoted as legal yet by the government. Uh, you're just not saying you got a national security letter. Well, we're just taking that out. We yeah. want to be truthful. And they're fighting being able to disclose more about these types of interactions with the government and to be able to share with more users. Yeah, Reddit also joined Twitter in filing an amicus brief last month asking for more transparency when it comes to disclosing NSLs. Keep fighting that good fight, Reddit. We that's, appreciate that. That's right. So yeah. what do you guys think of Reddit's transparency report? And is everyone in r slash no sleep totally fucked? Let us know in the comments below. For more conspiracy theories out of Reddit and reports about how those pesky government organizations will try to spy on us next, like this video and subscribe to the note. Please help us. He's going to kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the know. I'm Meg Turney. And I'm Bruce. Happy Fool's... I'll say Bruce Green, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Fool's. Bye, fools. Are you calling them fools? Well, because I said hello, fools. I know or you like did. happy fools. They're not fools, it's April fools. I'm a fool. <laughs>